I think I would define a person uh, relationally, but moving back into neuroscience, uh, think about persons as super complex systems that organize themselves in social relationships, such as to develop a very deep sociality, a very deep uh, ability to relate to other persons. Theologically, I think it's that capacity we use in our understanding and relationship to God. Now, that has a problem, that definition. And the problem is there are certainly people for whom relationality is minimally possible. A person with autism, for example, or with severe brain damage or whatever is no longer or has never been able to be deeply relational. But I have talked in the past about relationality not needing to be symmetric. That is, I can relate to a person with autism and bring relationality out of that person in a way that they are not able to reciprocate entirely. And so there is an asymmetric relatedness, but nevertheless, a relatedness that nests that person's personhood in this kind of a relational network.